welcome to Swarf and Chips. The last show was extremely well received. We saw over 2,000 watches in just five days. We also had a ton of requests, questions and comments and not forgetting some very funny ones too. So stay tuned to hear them. Now, to get your mention on the next show, contact us using the details below. And a first special mention to Arnold Rag, who loved the show. Thanks for the gift. And yes, you're welcome on set anytime. Right, we're going to kickstart Mazak. You went to the show. Can you tell us more about this? It's the Vortex Integrex. You've already done a interview about the Integrex a while back. Tell us more about the Vortex. Yeah, Paul covered the uh, Integrex beginning of the year, but like you say, this is the Vortex, a similar machine, but it hasn't got the turning functionality, but it's got pretty much everything else. It's still five axes, still the fast machine, it removes a lot of material. Um, this one, the show, they, they mimicked automotive components, but it's also happily in many other environments, including aerospace, titanium machining, for instance. Is it, is it you, you, Lindsay mentioned the Integrex, is it it's different to the Integrex? Is it a different model entirely? Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not an Integrex, but it's not a million miles away from an Integrex. I've got an Integrex taking away, you know, the turning functionality. That's the main thing. But I don't blame them. You know, how many times do you go around and see a machine like that turning? It tends to be more OEM-based product, doesn't it? Yeah, there are a few companies that offer it, but to have a machine of this nature with that turning function, the parts you need to be doing to to get the best out of it is they're few and far between. So I'm not surprised. Sure, and it's any sector, really. Like I say, automotive, aerospace, oil and gas. You know what they've done? They've listened and they've created something exactly, that everyone yeah. said. So. Exactly. Uh, smooth control, perfect. Tell us more. Yeah, it's a uh, newest control, smooth. It's uh, been around, what, beginning of the year, is it roughly smooth? I know you covered it with Mark. Beginning well, the of latest the year. generation is, yeah. isn't it? But the yeah. actual smooth, it came out uh, probably two or three years ago now. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's uh, it's much quicker processing speed, reduces cycle time, it's more operator friendly. You know, it's attractive control to look at which accounts for a lot in the, in the modern age. So yeah, no, it's a, it's a good machine. And, and this guy, Mark Hall, he is one of the best. He's not a salesman, he's a business development manager, a product, product manager. manager. Product manager. But, but how he, his description of the machine and the benefits and the features, there is no one better than this guy. He's articulate, isn't he? Yeah. Very. He's going to be wanting a job here, isn't he? Oh, he's too good for too good for, him, <laughs> oh, too good for us. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Uh, next machine, we're going across to Star, sliding head machines. We're used to seeing smaller sliding head machines. Now we're talking about a large 138 mil. Tell us more. Yeah, the ST38 is not a new model to Star. However, you, you, yeah, you, you're right. A lot of companies might look at Star and think, well, it's sliding head component tree, so it's kind of 10 mil, 12 mil, 20 mil, even 32 mil. But now the ST38 moves Star into a different arena. Although the machine's been out a couple of years, it is now one of their most popular sellers. Oh, really? Yeah. What's it's, the largest component can turn? It, it's over 38 yeah. mil, I believe. Yeah. You can go at, above 38 mil. So you're starting to sort of encroach on the 52 mil, two inch bar machines, yeah. which puts you in a completely different league. You can see the component there that Alec, uh, they're doing as a demonstration, just shows you that it's far from sliding headway and it's got a turret. You know, they've got turrets, got That's three turrets. Part, it, three, turret. three turrets. Three turrets. And they're all in stock. The, they carry these machines in stock, yeah. And, and the beauty of this machine is you, the, the two turrets on the front there that you see can working uh, together so that you can basically do balanced turning. You can be milling using the, each turret at the same time. So you can really reduce cycle times on the more complex and slightly bigger parts. And Alec again, we mentioned Mark at Mazak. He's great, isn't he, Alec? Great Very on good. camera. Yeah. 20 takes for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And a new facility, of course. Yes, yeah. Can't Where is that. it? In Derby. In Derby. Right, that's Star. So Heinberg, we're talking about collet chirks. Tell us more. This was, this was superb. This was, we went to their stand at the A&B show. They had customers on the stand that they were actually engaged with at the time. MTD turn up. And we know Nick Peter and been doing business with Heinberg for many years. They kind of just part their customers, no. MTD are here, we need to talk to them about our work holding system. So, <laughs> Very important, aren't they? Wow. So we had a chat with these guys. In brief, um, the Heimbert work holding system is about flexibility. If you're an engineer and you are uh, turning parts, you know, that, that vary, you go from one component to another, this system enables you to put a three-jaw chuck or change a three-jaw chuck to a collet system, to a mandrel, and even now to magnetic chucks all using their adaptations, which is totally versatile. Mm. The Peter and his team are doing a great job, aren't they? You see Heinberg everywhere now. You do, you do, you really do. But I'm not surprised, they invented this. 
Uh, they invented this many years ago, this, this quick change solution. So it's about flexibility and changing over parts very quickly. Right, okay. Can you tell us just really, really quickly why that is so important? Because if I was an engineer and I was uh, in my machine shop, I had lots of different parts coming through. I didn't know what was coming in from day to day. I can take on whatever work I choose because I know I can set from maybe a, a 10 inch billet down to a, a, a tube part where I need to be using a mandrel to do it and I can do it instantly Seconds. like that. If you're not cutting, you're not making money at the end of the exactly. day. That, that's, that's the, one. That's the yes. words I was looking for actually. Oh, that would save time. Just uh, the last uh, company we're going to talk about is ITC and Widia. Of course, they're two separate companies. However, they work together. Tell me more. Yeah, they've both got huge ranges, but the same with any cutting tool manufacturer or distributor. Everyone's range has got little gaps and little holes, so the two complement each other really well. So if Widia haven't got a tool, ITC have, and vice versa, really. But the video we see here, it's a trachoidal milling demo. Trachoidal. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We did at... Uh, a at Mill CNC on the DM4500. And what's trachoidal? Trachoidal, okay, so historically an engineer will machine waterline machining, some people call it, or dropping down in the x-axis, which is fine, but trachoidal milling is a lot quicker. You're essentially making a slot with a circular motion, so that the tool's going in and out of cut. So, yeah, and it's much, much quicker. You know, you don't just have to make slots, but if you're making a big pocket, you will be doing it in a slot fashion. Love that, cut it dry. Yes, is that because for filming purposes and everything that it you... Depends, depends. You would, there was no air blast on this, so with trachoidal milling, the important thing is you don't get chips. If you, if you start recutting your chips, the, the tool will choke and you'll lose the tool. So as a minimum, you'd want an air blast. And I know minimum. you're going to come on to it in a minute, but, but this is trending at the moment, isn't it, on our site? Yeah, it is, yeah. It's a good video. Okay, talking about trending, I'm going to go see Colin in just a moment because we do have a guest. However, what's trending right now? The, uh, the Vortex video we mentioned, I think that's number one at the moment. Also interesting, the a AMRC video that we did for the 2050 factory. That, that kind of goes, with the trending thing, you, you tend to find it the Haas DM2. Uh, the f Just so you know, in terms of trending, this is the most amount of views on videos, by the way, that we've had. Correct, a on, a, on, on a weekly basis or anything on the website. If it gets viewed a lot, it goes up in the trending chart. Yep. And at the moment, we're talking Vortex, Has DM2, Herco 3D. You know, it's the DM2. As soon as we talked about it on the last show, it went to number one straight away. Correct. So. Have you seen how many videos and views we've had on... It's a, lot. And chips. it's a lot. Over a thousand. It's incredible. Right, okay, I've got a question. That's in three days. Three days. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, okay, we've got to beat it with this one. So, Bob at RMK has written in uh, RMK in Scotland. He wants to fill his Victor lathe because the work of oil and gas has dried up. What can he do now? What industry can he go into? Um, I would be looking at not petrochemical, but um, um, nuclear. Very similar components, very similar materials. It's common sense, really. Yeah, you, you could me, be looking it's... at nuclear, you could be looking at large billet work. That Victor Lady is probably talking about a, 40, a VTAN 46 or a VTAN 36, something like that, which is a, a big machine. So, yeah, I'm sure if there's, if there's any companies out there that have got large turn parts that are looking for a subcontractor, Bob from RNK could be the man. Right, perfect. I'm off to see Colin, so I'll see you in a moment. We will come back to this. And we've got John Fossey here today from Micron Subcon. Thank you for joining us today. Um, now, John, you have been very busy lately. Can you tell us a little bit more about your machine to shop and what you've got in, inside? Sure. We've got, um, we specialise in milling. Um, we also turn. We've got a range of vertical machine centres. Um, we have a hard, the Hardinge XR760 with full Nick and fourth axis. We have a Doosan DNM400 with Fitted, which is only a three axis machine, but it's fitted with Microlock hydraulic vices. Okay. So we can enable us to hold numerous parts. Turning? We, turning, yet yeah, we can turn, we have um, up to 250 millimetres diameter um, that we can turn. Um, we have also got a horizontal machine in borer. Oh, okay, um, so you're turning, milling and boring within the machine shop? That's okay. correct. Never yep. say that John's boring, that's not fair. No, no, no. John, no, no. <laughs> He's mean. <laughs> so, and so you're turning milling and boring. Was it you were grinding as we well? We are. We can right? surface grind up to 1.2 metres by 600 millimetres. Right, so okay. So a lot of engineers, so, you know, they'll do their milling or their turning or maybe a little, sure. little bit of both. So you've got a whole range of things you can do there. Yeah, we try and cover as much of the job as to save us actually having to sub, sub out extra ops, if you like. 
Right, so you're busy. We are very And you're busy. investing. We are, yes. Now tell me a little bit more, because we've got some parts here on the table. Um, Matt Shura, they're known for their speed, their reliability. You've just invested. Tell us more. We have. We've just invested in the Matsura, the H plus 300 with five pallets, um, which we've got microlock cubes on all five pallets to enable us to hold multiple parts. Um, the, the reason for buying that machine was lights out machining 24 seven. Um, we've got a range of parts that we're on there. The machine's extremely busy. Um, Can you tell me a little bit more about how you're saying there's different pallets? Can you just explain more in a little bit more detail what goes on and how that benefits you with the pallets? Sure, basically we, the, the machine is cutting away on one pallet. We've got one pallet loaded up with work and it's doing its work. While that's machining, the other four pallets can be set up, loaded, ready for when the machine's finished. So, what it's doing. so when you say lights out, you know, if you're at home, sure. you're at home <laughs> and uh, you, because um, you said about, you get texts, don't you? Yes. Yeah. If there's any faults or something goes wrong with the machine, it will send a text message to, to warn us. And you've got to stop what you're doing <laughs> and run back into and work. Find, find one of engineers and send them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah more, more that way around, is that? And are these sure. the parts? Are these the parts that you're making on, so this is on the Matsura? The Matsura? Yes. Yeah, that one's the Matsura. Um, that's done in two operations. We have two per face on a cube, and we can obviously have all four faces, so we could have eight per cube. Right, okay. Um, we machine them, um, like I say, two at a time on a face, and the two operations, the front op will be set on one pallet, mm -hmm. and the back op will be set on another pallet, which will enable us to have complete parts coming off. Yeah, it's efficient, and you're not wasting time, are yeah, you? No sure. downtime, no. which is key to yeah. keeping efficiency cost down. Sure. Now, you should well, mention this part as well. Yeah, the smaller part there, we can um, have eight of those per face, and so obviously eight. Right, eight fours times five, 72? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of parts. A lot of parts, just say sure. a lot, yeah. 160. So, 160. Sure. Check your maths. <laughs> I'm going to afterwards. So, but there, a lot of faces, drilling, tapping. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we'll basically, they'll, that, that'll be loaded up before we go home at night and we can come in in the morning and it will be finished and then all the parts will be finished on the machine. Yeah, when you're cutting, you're making money, aren't you? At That's the end absolutely. Of the day, so. Key to what a lot of engineers are doing is investing and keeping that productivity 24, seven nights out. Sure. So you said the Matsura, Nakamura? Precision performance, that's what Nakamura are famous for, right? Sure, yeah. Um, we've got the, we've invested in the Nakamura AS200 lathe. Um, it's got the Y axis and it's got live tooling, which enables us to mill as well as turn on it which saves us a lot of time in extra operations. And it's got the bar feed on hand. It has, yes, yeah. we have a bar feed, yes. And this is the part that we're talking about here. That's so right. So you've got all your live tooling, you can access all angles, and you just feel, has that taken the company forward? It certainly has. I mean, whereas in the past, that was a four op operation mm -hmm. uh, part, that one. There was two, two ops on the lathe and then two ops on a mill. It's now two ops on the lathe and it's complete. So okay. it's, it saves no end of time and and money. Yeah. So reducing time, reducing cost, increasing your profit or reducing the price to the customer. Exactly. I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't <laughs> no, no more, no up. more. Uh, thank you so much, John. Right, so we have had lots and lots of people write in since the last video and I have a bone to pick with you, okay. Mr. Reynolds, because a Mr. Paul Kelly from Rolls-Royce, thank you for the email, Paul. He said he loved the show, so that's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, great news. However, at 24 minutes and 16 seconds, you Welcome. were asleep. He <laughs> was asleep the whole show, wasn't he? Yeah, the whole I show. I hope yeah. not. I hope not. Well, I don't know what was happening at that, but it must have been Paul talking, I guess. Oh. That, that would have been about, that was when I did, I did notice that myself, actually. It was when we were talking about the new Hardinge talent machine. Oh, okay. Talking of Hardinge. Yeah, but you shouldn't be asleep for that, because that's a no. great machine. Yeah, great no. Machine. Yeah, great. Well, they've given away this a man, complimentary. This man, this man will collar you for that. <laughs> Martin Doyle. Correct. Gave away a complimentary machine. This is fantastic. What marketing? And it wasn't just the machine, was it? It no, was, it was the everything. Hydra feed, everything. There was everything. All bells, all whistle, whistles, Tammy. Yes, yeah, JJ Hardin. I, I bet he was, yeah. JJ Hardin, Andrew there, is the, uh, the lucky winner of the GS150 giveaway from the Engineering Technology Group. And he's over the moon on, in, the, in this video, as, as you would imagine. But like you say, it's everything high-pressure coolant, the machine itself, Hydra feed, the filter mist, the extraction unit, the whole, the whole lot. And the key to this, this, this whole story, this was about marketing the engineering technology group. They're, 
over the last few years, the, the business has grown phenomenally. Um, and Andrew actually said it's one thing receiving a free machine with all the, all the bells and whistles, as we said, but that machine, when it hit the deck, it actually reduced the cycle times of the parts he was making by about 15%. So not only did he get this new free machine, he also saved in his production processes as well. What's good though, he's never bought a machine from the engineering technology group before. Yeah. So of course, now they've got this relationship and one would hope he, he buys his Customer future. Customer for life. Machine. You would hope, yes. And it's great marketing. I'm sure there's many companies out there that think, why didn't I do that? Yeah. Well done, Martin. Good on you. And talking about great installations, this gentleman here from Alan Spargo, I swear, if you cut this man in half, he has got Fanuc in his blood. He ha they have had uh, Fanuc machines for 20 years and now they've got some more. Yeah, the story goes that um, w when we go to site, we often try and find out why people bought a new machine, what's better about the new technology, how much faster it is, and all those good things. This was actually, when we spoke to Peter and, and asked him these things, he said, yeah, the new machines are brilliant. They do everything I want, and that's I bought them for the reliability, the repeatability. But what it has also shown me is how good my older machines are and what they can still do compared to the new technology. So you know, a very happy Fanuc customer. A very happy and don't customer. Don't cut him in half. No, <laughs> no, no, no please. Don't do that at home. No, don't. So now we're joined by Mark, who is in the north of England. How are you doing, Mark? Lindsay, I'm really well, thank you very much. Where are you about? What have you been up to? Well, I'm in Sheffield at the moment, um, in between some filming jobs, and I've just come out of TW Ward, one of our customers, and have they got some machines in stock, some real large machines. I think I've actually been to TW Ward before. I think there's a bit of a story about an elephant, is that right? And the entrance, or...? An elephant in the room. <laughs> no. And don't tell me it's called Nelly. <laughs> no, it's not called... You know what? Do your research, because I know I'm right. Have a look on the TW Ward website. Now, you're talking about big machines. Just We've had an email come in from Jason at Luff Engineering since the last show. He's interested in strategies for machining cast iron and intermittent cutting. You're talking about big, big machines. It, it, are these the types of machines that Jason could be looking at? Oh, definitely, yeah. TW Ward have some very large machines, but they also cater for some smaller parts as well. But if you're talking about cast iron, TW Ward is the company. Yeah, I mean, the intermittent cutting is an interesting one because you do need a machine with some pretty significant weight and, you know, heavy-duty capability to be able to tackle that, especially if it's cast irons as well. Yeah, if it's going in and out of cut, certainly. Yeah. And what machines would TW Ward be talking about? You said Hankook and... Yeah, well, I'm sure, Mark, they've got, they've got um, uh, various, haven't they? The, the Hankooks was a lot on the vertical side, but they've got the Hyundai uh, Weir range as well, which is a popular machine for them, which is, comes in all different, um, you know, you've got multi-axis, single axis, and also the 700, which you probably saw up there, did you, Mark, that biggie? Yeah, and also we're going to be doing a lot more work uh, on some of their uh, machines. So um, engineers can see a, a lot more of their range than uh, currently they are at the moment. Have they got those 700s up there in stock at the moment? Yes, they have. Okay, good, good. Okay. Um, any more news and events? Where else have you been? Was there an event for Seiko? Well, we was at CK Tools uh, at the headquarters. I mean, basically... EdgeCam, which is Vera Software, they had a user event and a lot of the uh, engineers that actually use the um, software, they go there to find up new, new ways and talk to each other how to actually use the, the CAD CAM software. That, that facility, Seco, that, I mean, we were there at the Inspiration Through Innovation event, leads into that quite nicely because we saw a press release on the website the other day. They had over 595 600, plus wasn't it, pretty much? visitors there. So and that was the event where we did the filming on the night as well, wasn't it? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. People are using Seco as a really good base and a good platform to promote their products, aren't they? Obviously, uh, Vero too. Yeah, I mean, Vero use it quite a lot, to be fair, and uh, Seco are very accommodating, as you say, Paul. Anything else you've got going on, Mark? Well, just a general wrap up, really. I, I think the industry's been busy over the last few months, but not as many orders as some clients would like to see coming through. But last couple of weeks, there has been more activity in orders, which is good. And I think some companies that have uh, are distributors, the Brexit, the pound, it's working against them. But slowly but surely, things will iron out a little bit more, I think. I think the exports is a big one. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, with the pound, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some machine tool suppliers might feel the impact on the import, but they might be selling more because 
companies that are manufacturing exactly and exporting. Right. Yeah. They did say with Brexit, though, in the beginning it was going to be quite tough for everybody. Mm. So it's just, it's it, happening, isn't it? It is. Is it not cold up there? Uh, yes, as, as, you, as you can tell, it's not the, uh, yeah. the sunny, warm studios that uh, uh, I know someone actually emailed in and s said that are you actually filming on East Descent? Grant, Phil Mitchell come to mind? <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. I think that's the end of Mark. Can you I improve your that... gags for the next show? We'd appreciate that. <laughs> See you later, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you Mark. This. Thank you. Last but not least, please tell me deal of the week. Tell me more what's going on. Okay, before we come to deal of the week, we're going to talk about all the deals. Um, I mean, the MTD has a long history of being the platform where everybody comes to find machines for sale, tooling for sale, equipment for sale, uh, and that's growing even more. And in fact, at the moment, if you were to look at our deal section, there's everything from, we've spoken about uh, ETG, but Nakamura, uh, turning centres, also Quasar machining centres. We've got deals from 600 UK on their, not only on their machine tools, but also on their, their chucks as well. Uh, yeah, there's Tamework Holding, there's Romy machine tools. But, You've got to go and look, haven't you? Yeah, you yeah. have. And, and being specific as well about work holding, we've got Microlock clamping deals at the moment that are running before between now and the end of the year. So there's lots of options and it is the place to go to see it. But deal of the week this week is the Matsura MAM 7235V. These machines are kept in stock, would you believe? I spoke with Roger, they invited us in to have a look at the machine and overview it. They want to put this out there to the marketplace and show that actually, although it's a Matsura machine, this is all about something we spoke about earlier about uptime. And the MAM 5-axis machining centre with the automation system on it means that they are delivering these machines and they're achieving over 90% uptime compared to what could be 30 or 40 on a normal and machine. And they're in stock. They're in stock. Wow. They carry, and we're not just talking one, they, they carry them in. Because they're so popular, um, you know, engineers don't want to wait these days. Yeah. And, and that's, why, that's why our deals section is so popular. How do we get hold of this well the, the, the these guys are beating our doors down all the all the time to say can we list this can we list that it doesn't matter whether it's edm uh whether it's five axis machines whether it's like joe said cutting tools or tooling automation there is there is a ton of deals on our website they just need to uh be a subscriber to promote their product but of course the engineers just need to uh, go to the products channel on the mtd cnc website to uh see what the latest the latest ones are fantastic easy as that Easy peasy. Right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, we will be back next week with some more swarf and chips. And what do we always say? Keep those spindles turning.